Welcome to Module 3 of the Facebook Advertising System from Lead Pages. I'm Bob the Teacher, the Marketing Educator here, and what I'm about to show you is one of the most important steps to take in order to have success advertising on Facebook. Ignoring this step, like so many frustrated Facebook advertisers do, and you're guaranteed to fail. Why? Because you'll have no clue whether your campaigns are successful or not. In this module, we'll take your first technical steps with your Facebook advertising by creating a conversion pixel. Do not make decisions about your advertising in the dark. With this conversion pixel in place, you'll be able to accurately track your campaign's success or lack thereof. Now, I'm going to show you how to create these pixels quickly and where to place them on your website and lead pages to measure your results. Even if you aren't ready to start running paid ads on Facebook yet, take these quick steps today. Let's get started. Succeeding with Facebook advertising is predicated on you knowing your numbers. In fact, if you set things up properly, you'll be able to make your decisions based on real numbers, not hunches or theories. Fortunately, Facebook provides you with all the tools you need to track your stats. The first one of these tools is known as a conversion pixel. With a conversion pixel in place on your most important website pages, you'll be able to tell when conversions have actually happened. Not only that, you'll be able to measure your campaign's effectiveness for generating both leads and sales. Now, Here's a quick note before we dig into the Facebook Ads Manager. Facebook frequently changes its layout, so what you see here on the screen throughout this course may differ slightly from the visuals I prepared for you in this course. Secondly, Data that's shown in this entire course should be used for educational and illustrative purposes only. Your success will, of course, be determined by your own actions that you take. Although you may not need to do this step, we do recommend setting up a business manager account in the Facebook environment so you can take advantage of additional features like multi-user account management, assigning admins and content creators for your pages, and a lot more. Go to business.facebook.com, scroll to the bottom of the page, and watch Facebook's quick video. Click the Get Started button, and then follow the prompts to setting up your business manager account. First, choose how your business uses Facebook, whether you are running other businesses' advertising campaigns, running your own account's ads, or you manage multiple applications. If you are advertising your own products, select the category of your business. Then, let Facebook know how many people will manage pages in your account and how many pages, ad accounts, or apps you'll be managing. You can always change this information later. In step three, name your business for easy reporting and choose your primary page in your Facebook account to connect to your business manager. If you don't have a page yet, you can create one at this point. In step four, add your name in the business manager profile and your email address. Finalize your business account by clicking Create Business Manager. At this point, you'll be able to manage your pages more effectively, but you won't be able to manage ads yet. There's one more important step that you need to take. From the home page of your business manager, click Settings, and then Add Accounts. Click the Add New Ad Account button. If you've never created an ad account before, choose Create a New Ad Account. If you're working on a client's ads, choose the third option. If you're like me and have created ads in the past, but outside of the business manager, choose the middle option. You'll then need to go and get your ad account ID. In a new browser window, go over to your regular Facebook account and click the small drop down arrow in the top right corner of your screen. Click Manage Ads. You can also go to facebook.com slash ads slash manage to get to the same page. Your ad account ID is located up here at the end of the URL after the equal sign. Copy that number and paste it into the claim account ID form. Click claim ad account and now your business manager is connected to your ad account. From the home page of your business manager, you'll be able to access any of the ad accounts you create by clicking the account name you wish to manage. You can also go to facebook.com slash ad slash manage to manage your ads. Now that the preliminary setup is out of the way, you're ready to go and set up your conversion pixel. From the home page of your ads manager, click conversion tracking in the left menu. Then click the green create pixel button in the top right corner. You have a few options of what to track. I recommend that you focus on leads and checkouts as these are essential metrics all businesses should know. However, you can also create conversion pixels for registrations, key page views, adding to cart, and other conversions that are important to you. Choose leads to create an opt-in conversion pixel and name your pixel for easy reporting. 
Facebook will then give you a piece of script code to paste onto your website pages that are only seen after someone has signed up to your list. If you have already created a thank you page and lead pages, for example, go into your lead pages account and edit your thank you page. Click the lead page options and tracking codes. Paste the code into the head tag tracking code box on that thank you page. Now, whenever someone visits that page, the conversion pixel alerts Facebook of their activity. We'll repeat this process for your sales conversion pixel. Click Create Pixel again from your conversion tracking page of your ads manager, choose Checkouts from the drop down, and name your sales conversion pixel for easy reporting later. Copy the code they give you and paste it into the head tag area of the thank you page people reach after they finish purchasing your product or program. If you want to measure actual conversion values for that checkout, change the value in the code from zero to the price of your product. Repeat this process for all of your website pages and lead pages that would show a conversion to Facebook. When you're finished, get a smile on your face because you've just completed a major step that way too many Facebook advertisers fail to do. And you're ready for the real fun of creating audiences for your Facebook ads. Let's finish up this module with a few reminders from this section. Knowing your numbers is the most important factor in your success or failure in using Facebook advertising. At a minimum, create a lead conversion pixel for any new subscribers added to your list and a checkout conversion pixel for tracking sales of your products and programs. Paste the appropriate conversion pixel into the head tag area of the appropriate thank you pages. Later, in module five, I'll show you how to create a retargeting pixel, which I know you're going to love. And in the landing page module, I'll show you how to create high converting landing pages to increase your results. But for now, you're all set to track your conversions. Before you go on to the next module, make sure you've downloaded the materials I've created for you to ensure your Facebook advertising success. Simply click on the button below to download all the videos, audios, handouts, and the Facebook advertising system mind map. Just enter in your email address and let me know where we can send those files to your inbox. When you're ready, go ahead and jump into the next module and I'll lead you further down the path of growing your business with Facebook advertising and lead pages.